after the great tragedy of Peter losing his life on board Seamaster, after some time we realised that really we must sell the boat. I mean, there was no way I could carry on Peter's mission and, and, and the mission would only be successful if Peter was there. So sadly we had to sell the vessel, but for us as a family and our close friends it was very important that Seamaster was sold to the right people. And we actually, we, we sold the boat ourselves and with this friend of ours, Don Robertson, who is a, um, one of, has been one of the trustees of our trust, we set up meetings um, at my house in England. We gradually got to learn that Etienne and uh, with his mother, mother Agnes were possibly interested in buying the boat and we had a meeting with Etienne, just Etienne in London. And from that very first moment, we knew that they were going to be the right people. And so the transition from Seamaster to Tara, as far as I'm concerned, was a very happy, happy one and, and absolutely the right uh, solution. And I'm really thrilled what Tara is now continuing to do with the very original um, legacy of the boat. You know, it had three owners, all who were very deeply involved with with the environment. I think when Peter had Seamaster, you know, his first objective was to, you know, to show people the, the beauty of the planet and how we must really look after the planet and to give that message. And then when Tara, Seamaster became Tara, it became obvious that they became far more involved with science and having scientists on board. So I think their operation has been far more scientific, but, but that, that is great because I mean, Peter obviously tragically lost his life before there was the opportunity for him to do more with the boat. But I think it's great what's so special for Tara is that, and, and now climate change is such a huge issue in the world that there are now lots of scientists on board, you know, exploring, looking at plankton, looking at the coral reef, launching, for example, in the Pacific. I think all these things are very important. Great things about Tara is that wherever they go, they put on public displays so that they can inform people about what they're doing. And so I think it's very, um, it's very good that you know, young people and adults and families can come and just general public education about you know, their, their mission. So I think it's a great thing that Tara, Tara does rather than, it's not, it's not just for the scientists, it's for the, it's for the public to inform them as well about this whole thing of taking care of the planet and, and what's happening you know, the plastic in the ocean and how important it is that we, what we take care of, you know, the world. Knowing that Tara is coming back to New Zealand, I think is, is very, is very special. I mean, for us as a family, I think it's, um, it means a lot to have Tara. I mean, it, obviously it's also emotional because this is the, you know, the boat on which Peter lost his life. So there is a, a lot of em emotion there, but on the other hand, um, just the fact that Tara is continuing his legacy, I think to have the boat back here means will mean a lot to New Zealanders, who's because Peter really meant a huge amount to New Zealanders. They really had a lot of them had him in their hearts. So I think, and I hope that will be a, a very good response to the boat coming back here. I think a lot of people will be very interested and uh, will want to come and visit the boat and, and learn more about about Tara.